The histogram shows the masses in grams or some apples in a shop. Work out an estimate for the median mass and construct a frequency table. So what we've got here is the masses along the horizontal axis here. We've got the frequency density here in the vertical axis. Okay, so what we need to do is find the total frequencies. Now the total frequencies is the total area represented by all the bars here. So working each one of these out, that's going to be 50 times 0 0.12. 50 because the class width is 50. And this length here is 0 0.12. Doing a similar sort of thing here, this is going to be 75 times 0 0.24. This one's going to be 25, the width here is 25 times 0 0.4. This one's going to be 75 times 0 0.16. And this one's going to be 50 times 0 0.08. So having worked those out, that's six, uh, 18, 10, 12, and 4. So this, the, so the total area here gives me the frequencies. So the total frequencies is going to be 6 plus 18 plus 10 plus 12 plus 4, which is equal to 50. The median is the between now between the 25th and the 26th value because there's 50 altogether. Now which class is that in? Well, 6 plus 18 will give me 24, so it's going to actually be somewhere in this class here. So it's good. Right, the frequency density of this class is 0 0.4, and we know that frequency density is equal to the frequency divided by the width. So working sort of backwards, the width that we're going to require to represent one, because we need one more in here, is going to be the frequency divided by the frequency density. Just want one more in order to get our 25th value so it's going to be 1 divided by 0 0.4 which is 2.5 so what we need to do now is take the 200 and add it to 2.5 so the estimated median is going to be 200 which is the lower bound of that particular class plus our extra little bit that represents 1 which is 2.5 which gives me 202.5 grams so if we mark that on our graph that's going to be this one here which is 202.5 now in order marking that line on because we had 50 altogether the area on that side of the of the line must represent 25 and the area of this side of the line must represent 25 so this is 9 plus 12 plus 4 this little bit here it represents 1 plus 18 plus 6 which is 25 so the median is the one where it's going to split the area underneath the, the graph uh, into two equal parts. In this case, we had 50, so it'd be 25. Right, in order to uh, count, make the frequency chart, uh, it's going to be quite easy because we've now worked out what each frequency, that's six, that's 18, that's 10, that's 12, that's four. So just writing that out again. So the frequency table, so we've got the mass in grams and the frequencies. So we're going to go from uh, 75 to 125. And that is represented by 6. We're going to be 125 to 200. That's going to be represented by 18. And then 200 to 225 is going to be represented by 10. And then... 225 to 300 is represented by 12 and then 300 to 350 is going to be represented by 4 so now we have our frequency table and then from that we can calculate other things such as an estimate for the mean okay so this has been a video to show you how to find the an estimate for the median from a histogram and to find the make the frequency table from the histogram i worked it backwards i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching